Hey there, it's me Kimberly. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a circle buy button using Adobe Illustrator. Circle buy buttons are great to use on the sidebar of your website or right up underneath your offerings on your site so that someone has a place to click and buy something from you. Now you don't have to make it a buy button. You can put any kind of words on this button that you want to, but I like to make buy buttons. So here we go. You're going to start a new tab in your browser so you can follow right along with me. And in like less than five minutes, we're going to have this done. So you're going to do file and you're going to do new and you're going to make this button whatever size you you want it to be. You're going to start with a um, the same height and the same width and I like to set mine to unit pixels over here so that it creates them in website pixels but you can do inches too. Either way is fine. I'm making mine today at 300 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall. So you just type 300 wide by 300 tall. Then you're just going to hit the OK button. So now we've got our new canvas, 300 wide by 300 tall. And we're going to go ahead and click on the ellipse tool over here. If you don't see the ellipse tool, you can click and then you'll see it over here in the middle. So you just click and hold down until you see ellipse tool. Now you just click anywhere on your screen. And I like to make my circles just slightly smaller than my box. That way they always fit inside of where they're going and the circle edges don't get cut off. So I'm going to make this one at 290 pixels. So I'm just going to type 290 by 290 and hit enter. Next you'll see that the circle is automatically black and white. So we're going to go ahead and take that circle and horizontal align it to the center and vertical align it to the center as well. If you do not see this alignment section right here, click Window, Align, and then you'll see it right here and you just do Horizontal Align Center and Horizontal Align Vertical. Yay, now we've got our circle. The next part is to click on your circle so that it brings up the color swatches right here. I like to remove the black line around the edge, so I'm just gonna click the black square and click the stroke none button, the one with the red line through it. And now you'll see that it's just a white circle in a white box. So if you click back on your white box and then click the fill box, which is the white box in the corner, you can now add any color that you'd like to the inside of this circle. Mine is orange right now, but I could also go in and change it and make it my favorite shade of pink. Okay, so now we're going to type our two lines of text for our buy button. You can do this in one of two ways. You can type each line separately, or you can type them both together and then adjust the sizing as you need. But this time, I'm going to show you typing them separately because I like to have less space between the words in the lines, so not so much dead space in the middle between like buy and now. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You're just going to click the type tool and click anywhere on your screen. I'm going to hit my caps lock button so I can make this a capital button, but I'm just going to type the word buy right there. Now I'm going to hit my selection tool so I can grab just the word buy. And I'm going to go ahead and align it to the center for the text. And then I'm going to align it to the horizontal and the vertical. Now remember, if you don't see something that's right here, you can go to your window box and you can make sure that you've got application bar checked, control bar checked, tools and default checked and then that'll give you the same things that I have. Now the neat thing about this is once you've got that type selected you could just hold your shift key on a Mac and your left hand mouse button and you can drag it as big as you'd like it to be or you can do the character and make it bigger here. So I'm going to make this 80 pixels because I like even numbers. Then I'm going to come back over here and center it horizontally and center it vertically so it's right in the middle of the button. You can click anywhere and then just come back and click on it, left click and drag to move it up and out of, this, out of the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the font for this too. So you're going to want to make sure you hit character and I'm going to go ahead and choose Helvetica because I'm on a Mac. But you can choose any font that's on your computer. Helvetica is great for Mac users. It's a nice, easy to read font. And Arial is great for PC users. Also a nice, easy to read font. And so sorry if you're hearing all the noise in the background. It seems to be trash truck time in my neighborhood. Yay! Anyway. Alrighty. So now we're going to do our second word. I'm going to go ahead and click anywhere on the screen to get rid of all of my outlines. And now I'm just going to click the type tool again. 
come back to the center and now it's going to be automatically set to the last thing that we used. So now I don't have to adjust the size anymore. It's just going to be perfect. So I'm going to type the word now with an exclamation point. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the selection tool so I can select just that word. I'm going to center it and then that's centering just the font. Now I'm going to horizontal align center and vertical align center. And you'll see that they're stacked on top of each other. So I'm just going to left click and drag to get them off of each other and to set them up in a way that I think they look really nice. So now I've got both my words on my button. The last part is to make sure that they are both as a group together and centered. I know it's a lot of centering, isn't it? It's like center, 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 center. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. You're going to shift and click the word by and then shift and click the word now. That will grab both of those words without grabbing the circle behind it because you don't want the circle in the mix. Next, you're just going to come to object and hit group. And now you can go ahead and hit the vertical align center to make sure that it's right in the middle of the buy button. Now for some reason, whenever I do that, it always looks like it's too tall to me, like too high up. So if it does look a little off to you, to your eyeballs still, like it always does to mine, I think my eyeballs are off, you can just click on the two words now and it'll grab both of them at the same time and you can just move it down a little bit. I always have to do that. I don't know why, but it always looks off to me. So anyway, now the last part of this is to decide if you want a different color for your letters. So I'm going to click my letters and I'm going to come over here to my fill box where it's black and I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six letters, six letter F's and then voila, now your buy button is a white lettered buy button. Yay! Last part is to go ahead and save this so that you can edit it and make a bazillion and one different colored circle buy buttons. You can just come back to this file and choose any color in the rainbow and you've got oodles of buy buttons at your disposal really easily. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and save this one. So I'm going to do file, save as, and you want to save it as an AI file. Make sure it says AI at the end. And I'm going to do circle buy button. I can't spell. There we go. And I've already got that file, so I'm just going to replace it. And voila. Now you're also going to want to do File, Save for the Web, and make one to use on your website. You can use JPEG if you want the white box to show, but most people don't want a white box around their pretty pink circle. So for these, I usually choose the Ping 24 with the Transparency option checked. Anytime you see the checkerboard, that means it's not saving the white background. So now just click Save. And it's already got the name circle buy button, so you can go ahead and save it. Notice I didn't put any prices on this buy button. It just makes it easier for you so you don't have to create multiple different buy buttons every time you want a different price point. So it makes it really easy on you. But now you can go back in and make as many purple, green, blue, orange, yellow buy buttons as you want. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. And please come visit me at KimberlyGosney.com to sign up to get more tutorials. Thanks, and bye!